What's up everyone, my name's Jake and this is Design Bros, where my brother and I make videos about the absolute best design and productivity apps on the market. And with that, let's dive into our first screen recording app, Canva. Canva is an amazing resource for designing digital projects right in your browser. And it even works on Mac or PC. Now something I don't think a lot of people realize is that Canva can actually do some video editing as well as recording your screen or presentations. Recording your screen on Canva is really easy. All we have to do is open up Canva and then hit create a new design and then create a new video project. Now that we have our project open, we're gonna head over to the Uploads tab on the left-hand side, and then select Record Yourself. Now there may be some pop-ups from your browser that come up to allow some permissions. We're gonna to wanna to allow those, both the camera and the microphone setting. And then we'll be treated to this uh, blank page here where we can start changing some of the settings to get Canva to work the way we want it to work. So over here on the right-hand side, we can select whether or not we wanna record the camera only, the camera and the screen, as well as just the screen. Now when you click either of those other two options, we can select the screen that we want to record and then hit Share. Now we can see what Canva is going to try and record here. Now, one thing I noticed is that it's not showing the correct webcam here. That's really easy to change. Over here, we can hit the drop down and then select the webcam or camera that we want to use. So now you'll be seeing that we're using the webcam that's built into my computer. Also on this page, we can click on the bubble for the webcam and we can actually move this anywhere we want to give us the look we're going for for the presentation and make sure the bubble isn't covering up any of our material that we wanna share. Once we're happy with that, we just have to hit the record button and it's gonna give us this countdown and then we can start presenting our project or recording our screen. Once we're happy with the recording, we can hit done and then save and exit. Canva will automatically load your videos into your project so you can begin editing right within the Canva app. Of course, if you don't wanna use Canva to edit your video project, that's totally fine. All you have to do is head over here to the upload side, simply hit these three dots, above the video and then you can download your video and edit it in any software that you'd like, like Adobe Premiere or Film Express. The only thing I don't like about using Canva to record my screen is that it doesn't offer a built-in highlight cursor feature. You'll see here on my recording, I have this yellow highlight around the cursor that is not built into Canva. Uh, if you want that, you'd have to install an extra bit of software, which I'll talk about a little bit later, or you can check out Cam Studio. Cam Studio is an open source software that's really easy to use and totally free. A really neat feature about Cam Studio is that it allows you to add annotations as you go along and record your screen, as well as change the codec or some of the video settings within Cam Studio. My favorite thing about Cam Studio is that it has a built-in mouse cursor effect. You can find that by jumping into the options and then clicking on cursor options and this is where you can select the show or hide cursor, whether or not you're gonna record it, and then add the cursor or highlight cursor feature. Here we can change the size or the shape or even the color, and then even add a different visual feedback like a color or shape change by checking this box here. The only issue that I've had with Cam Studio is that even after setting the recording settings to their maximum output quality, I'll still get some choppy playback. I don't really know why this is happening, but I would say that this app is great if you're just trying to record something really quickly for a friend or a colleague just to show them how to do something or what you're working on, but I really wouldn't recommend it for YouTube tutorials. Now, if you want really ultra high quality playback with an easy to use interface, you're gonna to wanna to check out the free version of Flashback Screen Recorder called Flashback Express. Flashback Express is one of the most refined apps on this list and it has a few extra features built into it and I also really like the UI. It's super simple and super easy to use. Uh, right here in the main panel we can select whether or not we want to record our screen. We can select if we want to record the entire screen, 
uh, a region of the screen or just a window. We can even select whether or not we want to add a webcam overlay down here in the corner. You can even change the size of this from small, medium, or large. And then you can select which microphone that you want to record from. Or maybe you just want to turn that microphone off. If we dive into the Flashback Express settings, we can find this highlight mouse cursor effect. This is going to give us that yellow highlight circle around the cursor which I think makes for a much more engaging, much more interesting video that your viewers can follow each step much easier. Now, one of my favorite features within Flashback is that we can actually change the background from within this app. So I can click on this blur setting and blur my background. I can also hit remove, just remove the background entirely, or we could upload a custom image so it looks like we're in this really nice loft space. Now, the nice thing about Flashback Express is that there's no watermarks, you can do that overlay, uh, and you can change a bunch of settings all for totally free. However, there are a few limitations, and if you really like this free version, you're definitely going to like the pro version that they offer as well. So if you head over here to pricing, you'll find that it's about 50 bucks to get the full version. But before you hit that buy now button, I found a clever trick to get a way better deal on this software than paying full price. All you have to do is open up your Flashback Express app, go over to the three dots in the upper right hand side and click upgrade. That's gonna open up the same buy now page, except they're gonna give you a discount. Uh, right here, we've got 40% off. I've had as much as 50% off. So I think that's a pretty cool thing. So definitely check that out if you're interested in upgrading your flashback software. If you're thinking this video is pretty cool, be sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm so that we can help more people find amazing programs like this one. All right, now let's talk about the easiest to use screen recorder that you already have, but you probably didn't even realize that you already had it. Whether you're using Mac OS or a Windows PC, both computers have a built-in screen recorder software that's super easy to use and totally free. On a PC, simply hit Windows G, and this will bring up the Xbox Game Bar. The Xbox Game Bar is what we're gonna use to record our screen. Now up at the top here, we'll see some different settings for widgets. The audio and the capture widget are what are most important here. So this is the audio widget. This is where we want to make sure that we're selecting the right microphone to record from. So here under voice, we'll verify that we've selected the USB microphone, which is this one right here. And then we're good to go. All you have to do is hit on this record button to start recording. You could do this from the widget, or if you don't have the widget already open, simply hit the Windows key, Alt and R, and that will start a new recording. For those of you that are using a Mac, you can access a very similar feature set on your Mac OS system by simply hitting Shift Command 5. There isn't really a good way to record both your screen and a webcam using either of these methods. However, if that's something that's important to you, you're gonna to wanna to check out OBS Studio, which is a free cross-platform screen recorder that works on Mac, PC, and even Linux. OBS Studio, or Open Broadcast Software, is a cross-platform program with ultra-powerful recording and streaming capabilities. It is a little bit more complicated than the other apps on this list. However, I think with all the extra functionality and features that they add, it's totally worth the extra learning curve. OBS Studio has a ton of different features from unlimited scenes, which you could switch to seamlessly through your live streaming, or this high performance real-time audio and video capturing. It's got this intuitive audio mixer, different configurations, and a different dock so you can customize the layout of OBS however you like. When you open up OBS Studio, the default layout has this scene section over here on the left, as well as sources. That's where you're gonna plug in your screen, your webcam, or the audio devices like this microphone. And then scene transitions. The scenes and scene transitions will be used for streaming and other projects like that. Like I said before, OBS Studio offers a ton of different options and settings. Unfortunately, the only critique I have about OBS Studio is that it doesn't feature a built-in cursor highlight function. So if that's something that's important to you, you would need to install a different software to make that work. The way I did it was installing a program called Pen Attention. Pen Attention was originally developed for online learning, but it works great for making YouTube tutorials or presentations as well. 
Besides being completely free, one of the greatest things about pen attention is that it works with any recording software, or even web-based meeting app like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Once you've installed Pen Attention, you can find it down in your taskbar down here. And from there, you can turn on or off the highlight feature or even change the highlight settings. Uh, within the settings, you can of course change the color or the shape of the highlight, as well as some other functions for right clicking and things like that. And last, but certainly not least, I've got another video queued up for you right over here with some great tips and tricks that you're definitely gonna love. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.